Hi guys. Oh, have I been busy? So, you want to see the garden? Show you what all I got growing. So, forgive my shadow if it creeps on us. Um, so, I'll just start here. This is just a cut off 55 gallon drum. Had it for a few years. Usually I have my um, koi or goldfish in it and use it for a rain barrel. But here we are going to, <clears throat> I just want to be able to dip in water. You know what I mean? So this is kind of where we got all our little tiny starts. Um, bell peppers, assorted bell peppers, hot peppers. And this is my little herb, uh, herb garden that I'm starting. These are just zucchini seeds. We'll step over here. These are um, wild violets that I picked when I was mushroom. I didn't pick them. I dug them up when I was mushroom hunting. And I'll put them in a flower garden someday. Um, these are flowers that I brought from my daughter and son-in-law's last spring. You guys probably remember I did that video um, gathering plants for my nursery, future nursery. Have lots of those. Um, some more onions. Some yucca from my dad's yard. When they're bigger, I'll put them out in the ground. Oh, guys, I just got these at Farmer's Market this morning. They're two little huckleberry um, plants. I don't know anything about huckleberries, so I don't know if they're bushes or little trees, so we'll find out. Um, more onions. These have seeds, flower seeds. I, I'm trying not to waste a lot of space on flower. That's my passion fruit. It almost died off, but I think we can save it. And it's a lot, guys. We're not even halfway done. So this shelf I've got for flowers. Um, not sure about that one. That says it's goji berry. I did not buy that and this was, oh, <clears throat> it was pretty much dead. I think some of the tags got blown around and mixed up, but we'll figure it out when they get berries. Now some of these I kind of rescued uh, friend of ours moved and I went down to check last year's garden and there was a bunch of trees still in the still in the bags you buy them in and the, uh, some in smaller pots and they had like most of them were dead it was a lot of them but I found like a half a dozen or so that had little buds and I brought them over here and got them out of the um, little pots and put my green thumb to them. So some of these are mystery plants. This is my Rose of Sharon. Of course I have to have one of those. These are so hard for me to remember everything. They are butternut squash. Took me a minute. I just got this little baby at Farmer's Market this morning and it is a Bartlett pear tree. Look at that tiny little tree, guys. Look how tiny it is. You can tell next to the popsicle stick. So, we'll have fun seeing what that does. And now we're going to turn around and go the other way. This is another one. It was nothing but little sticks, guys. With a couple of little bitty buds. And I put it in that giant pot, fertilized it, and it is thriving. Those are elderberries. And these are my little rescue trees. I call them orphans. That's why my pear tree is named Annie. <laughs> so these two here are Fuji apple. These two here are pink lady apple. 
a mystery tree. A black Arkansas apple tree. And a pear tree. It's a lot. Another pear tree. Different type. So, here I got... Oh my goodness, guys. It was so cool at market. <clears throat> it's the first time I've been to market this year. And I didn't get a go with the last few last year. So, at market I got two celery plants. Those two huckleberry plants. This beautiful basil. It smells amazing. And then from my favorite huge YouTuber um, channel that I watch, <clears throat> they take their plants to market in Ava also. So I got to buy two of their bell pepper plants and these amazing huge tomato plants. So, are we done yet? No. Shit no, guys. A ton more onion bulbs that we would very much... Well, we eat a lot. We eat so much onions. I, I cook with lots of onions and peppers, so that's what I want to grow most of. So we got those. They'll be transplanted later into a bigger area. We got... These are all potatoes that we're just going to grow in, sorry, grow them in pots and buckets. These are called walking onions. A lady I work for gave them to me. We got Brussels sprouts. We got some weed. Some cabbages. And strawberries in there. That's what I'm planting next. Chard and sunflowers. I got these at Walmart and they are cauliflower. And then this beauty. It is a candy crush kale. Anywho guys, um, I'll probably do a few little clips of random pretty things that I put out here that I just skipped over while I was talking. But, um, I'll be back. Oh, hi guys. Hi guys. I got some, um, lights for the fence around the garden and wild violets guys I dug up a whole bunch of them getting getting them out of the woods and into pots and part of my little greenhouse to be anyway I'll be right back Oh, my lights are tangled, guys. I'm sorry. I wish you could hold it for me while I untangle it.
almost got it. Hi guys, <clears throat> you're so quiet I forgot about you over there. I almost got it guys. Just got to add these pink ones. I'm excited, I want it to get dark now so I can see how it looks.
Okay, one more second, I'll be right back. Okay, how are you? Long time no see. Would you like to have a little puff of Mary Jane with me? You know the little saying, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? Silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. It took me 55 years to figure out who Mary was that they were talking about. It's got to be Mary Jane. Anywho, my garden's doing awesome. Things are kind of crazy in the week up to leave and to go to Illinois, so I don't know when I'll see you again, but I miss you, I miss making videos, I spend hours and hours just digging in the dirt and hunched over, squatting, bending, reaching, lifting, but it'll all be worth it. I'll be worth it when we eat, uh, eat that delicious food that's growing because I really can't live without bell peppers and onions and tomatoes. Those are the three top of the list I plant every year. So, Anywho, um, I need to get busy, so I'll wait to upload this until after dark so that I can come and show you the lit up garden. It'll be fun. Guys, something got my quail. I had her inside in that beautiful cage all winter and waited till after frost and brought her out. Should have redone the door and I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think anything could get in there. And I had just bought her a husband Saturday. <clears throat> so I bought my female quail last fall for $4. And she was already laid. Then I went and got, was going to get a sister to hang out in there with her. But he didn't have any females that uh, big enough yet. He just had little babies. I didn't want a baby. So I bought her a husband Saturday and they were making the cutest little bird sounds. And then I got up this morning, Monday, and there was just feathers in there and the door was all crooked. So I'm assuming one of the cats did it. I've never liked cats, guys. I actually hate cats, but anywho, that's beside the point. Um, what I wanted to tell you was, I just felt sick inside all morning, the sadness. I mean, it might just be a bird, but the price of quail now, when I bought that that mail Saturday, the guy told me that the females went up from $4 to $9. $9 each, just since last fall. So, I thought that was weird. But anyway, so I was bumming and everything, and then, hold on and I'll tell you the good part. good part is I came out earlier and I saw two hummingbirds at my hummingbird feeders. One just fluttered right in front of my face and stared me down and then it took a drink and flew away. And two butterflies and I looked over at the cage and heard like a fluttering and I'm like, well I know there was no quail in there and they sure wouldn't go back in if they just got loose. And um It was a freaking male cardinal. Had went in there to eat some of her food and got stuck. So I went to open the door to let him get free and he squeezed through the bars and got out on his own. But I got my nature fix. Anyway, guys, I gotta go. I miss you. I love you. See you soon.